Are you thinking of updating to iOS 18? Well, you might want to wait, and here's why. Those new iOS features, plus changes on Beta 1, as soon as the Apple event was over. Uh, we accumulated some bugs, um, but I got to say this first beta was pretty stable. But as you know, we'll have much more features coming in future betas all the way up to September. So well, iOS first beta is here and it's mind blowing and crazy awesome. Yes. What do you say? I say. Say it again. So in this video, I will let you know about all of the iOS 18 features and changes that you might want to use on a daily basis. So if you're ready, hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. Let's jump right into this video. First, we're going to talk about the lock screen. If you see right here, we get the color palette right here, which colorizes the clock. And if you look towards the bottom, we also get two new custom buttons. So I'm using Safari on the right. You actually get to choose what icons or what shortcuts you want we're going to pick a custom button and we get all of these controls right here so you got these controls at the top so you got all these different controls which is awesome i know that's right so the one that i, I usually pick uh is the open app that's right here so we're going to pick open app and right now it's kind of buggy so you actually have to hit done and then you go back into it you have to go back and customize it right now uh, i'm pretty sure on the next beta uh some of these bugs will be fixed but like i said it's running smooth battery life is pretty good so we're going to choose our app and the one that I'm using is messages. So as you see, it doesn't show up right now, right here. It doesn't show up. I got to hit done. And as you see, uh, now it shows up right here. So if you press it, it brings you right to your messages. Go back to home screen. Right it, we're gonna go right back to the lock screen. So we're gonna scroll down. And as you see right here, we have all of these different wallpapers. Uh, the, other, the other three wallpapers are pretty much the same with just a few different colors. So we're not gonna really go into that. This That was light mode and this is dark mode. So I don't, I, I don't really care for the wallpapers, to be honest. So I actually don't want to even add that because I'm not going to actually use it. So as you see, I had already set up one right here. So this is what it will look like if you decided not to put the buttons. So the buttons are gone right now. So this is just an idea of what it could look like if you wanted a more cleaner lock screen. Yes, they can be done. All right, so we're going to go back to my wallpaper. So this is it for everything on the lock screen. This is what's new. All right, so let's talk about what's next. The control center. So as you see right here on iOS 17, yes, you can add stuff to it, but you know you have to go into back into settings 
go down to control center and you actually have to add in your control center from the settings so let me show you what it looks like if we were to go to control center which we still have control center but do you see what we get when we go to settings and go to control center because now we don't have to go into settings anymore we could just pull down straight from here and doesn't this look a whole lot better than having to go through this so once you go right here you can't do nothing there is no pressing and holding you know you, you, you understand what I'm saying there is no pressing and holding so these are the ones that I set up for me uh, I actually love this customization I mean like I said you can either press the plus right here and go into quick setting or you can press and hold to get to the same thing if you don't want to go up to the top and hit that button right here we also get a new slide to power off and i kind of wish it was a restart button you know what i'm saying and it would be a whole lot nicer uh, people don't really power off their phones they rather restart like I do um, so I actually made a restart shortcut that I actually use every day because I reboot my phone at least once a day um, and this shortcut I have a restart I have a lock screen I have a Bluetooth that completely turns Bluetooth off with the line through it. And then I also have Wi-Fi. So when I turn Bluetooth and Wi-Fi off, they are completely off. And I'll show you what I'm talking about right now. So as you see right now in here. Now watch when I, if you turn it off from right here. Turn it off from right there. It, and I go to turn it off from right here. It don't actually turn it off. It still can come back on by automatic. It can still automatically come back on. So what I do, I got a shortcut where I don't even have to go into this. Unless I just want to pull down and, and hit Wi-Fi right quick or Bluetooth right quick. But as you know, some people have been saying... You know, why I put the Bluetooth way down here when we use Bluetooth all the time. Why it's not here where the airdrop is. You should have the airdrop right here and Bluetooth right over the Wi-Fi. Uh, I think that would have been perfect. And airplane mode should have been where Bluetooth is. Because how often do you put airplane mode on? I mean, I do maybe once a day. But I use Wi-Fi and Bluetooth more. So... Hit Bluetooth, hit Wi-Fi, I scroll down, and look, they're completely off with a line through it. That means they can't automatically come back on because they are literally shut down. All right, so like I said, I could turn them back on from right there, but I don't, I don't need Bluetooth right now, so I'm going to leave Bluetooth off. So... If you would like these shortcuts, let me know down in the comments and I'll, and I'll send you the link. As you see, we can hit that plus, like I said. Scroll to the next page now. I'm going to show you how you can add a control and the different functionalities that you can have with these controls. So we're going to hit add a control. So say, for instance, this music player. We can put it there, and it's also resizable. If you have this little corner thing on the widget, that means you can move it around and resize it. Uh, and that's for apps, anything that offers a widget on the iPhone. So I can make it this big. I can make it this big. And then I can also stretch it out and make it this big.
So, and it also gives you uh, your volume slider, slider. It also gives you uh, controls for other speakers and TV or Bluetooth things or Wi-Fi things. So, put that back up. And then, so, you can go in and just customize to your heart's desire, you know. And it, you, you can't you can't beat this update. This is like the biggest Apple update in history. This thing is really crazy and awesome. Like I said, it's a it's a little buggy, but it's not no bugs that you can't really take care of. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna get out of that. I have my I already have my control center set up, so I'm going to leave mine like this. And I got to say that some of these, when you make them small, they're not, they don't have that squarish, roundish design like on iOS 17. It's more like the icons on Vision OS. Uh, that's what I've noticed. So, I mean, that's pretty awesome. You can't ask for no more than that. Yeah, we'll probably get some other features that we're not expecting that didn't show in the Apple event. But this is what we've been waiting on. And we finally have it. It's finally here. So, y'all that don't download betas, uh, you only got a few more months to wait till iOS 18 comes out in September. So, I, I, I think everything will be cool. Uh, you... If you don't want to have to deal with the bugs, you don't want to use, and you only, you only have one iPhone, uh, yes, wait, just watch, watch the videos, enjoy the videos, and if you just can't wait, just wait for the public beta to come out next month, July. Uh, that one will be more stable. This one is more for the developers, you know, and people that want to try it out early, like me. You know what I'm saying? So we look, we've got flashlight right here. Yes, you could turn it up and it shows up like that. And then, of course, I have the iPhone 13 here. It's not going to show up because I don't have a dynamic island. Um, so, you know, if you had a iPhone 14 or something with the dynamic island, you know that the animation on iOS 17 was just a little icon in the dynamic island. But I do have it on the new iOS 18. I actually had it on iOS 17. When I had iOS 17 on my iPhone 14 Pro Max, I actually had the animation right here inside of the dynamic island. So we're going to see... We're going to go back and turn this flashlight off. We're going to go over here, turn the flashlight on here. And as you see, we're going to turn the flashlight on here. Like I said, sometimes it's a little buggy. So it looks like I need to do a restart. Like I said, this one is kind of buggy. So normally, all I do is do a restart. If something starts getting real buggy, I just restart it and it starts working again. And you'll see once I restart it and it comes back up. Like I said, I don't power off my phone. So I love that I could just hit that reset, reset my phone right quick without having to go through all them extra steps. And I do that for the lock screen, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi. I had those shortcuts right then and there. So we're gonna go right back and try try it again. Now see, it came on. It's a little buggy, but that can be expected with a first beta. And if you look in there, it looks awesome, you heard me? So you can slide up and down. You can slide your flashlight up and down. And you can also go across. 
So you can make it wide, you can make it small, you can make it real small, or you can make it wide. Up, turn it down. I mean, that's pretty cool. Then you just hit the flashlight, and it turns the flashlight off. Boom. Flashlight is off. Just like that. So, let's get out of that. Let's go on to the next thing. This is new. Awesome and crazy. Alright, so, looking at iOS 17, looking at iOS 18, they pretty much look the same, right? So, press right here. You get this plus button right here. Press right here. You have an edit button. You hit the edit and you get these. You get these two options. You see what I'm saying? Plus and edit. So, all I can do here is just add widgets. Widgets are widgets of apps. And we can move these around, you know, like we normally do. Uh, but these are stuck in a grid. So wherever you move them at, that's where they're going to stay, as you know, the, the usual. But over here, if we go, I can literally resize this widget. By doing that, or I can click and hold on it, or I can click and hold it, and you get some more options. So I can turn this widget into an app, to the weather app. I can turn it into the weather app, or if I press it again, you see, we can go right back to these options. I can go right back and have a small one. Press it again. I can go back to the medium one. Then if I want a large one, and once you see me, I hit the large one, the icons are going to shift over to the next page. But then if I go back to this medium size or a small one, those icons are going to come right back. So check this out. Boom. They slid over to this side. And watch this. When I go right back and I go back to the small one, boom, they come right back. If on iOS 17, if you do that, which you actually can't resize them from the widget, you actually have to delete it. You have to delete the widget and then go back and add the size that you want on iOS 17. But on iOS 18, you could do everything from right here. You don't have that option on iOS 17 like that. See that? You don't get that option. So, gonna leave that there. Let's go on to the next thing. You can't customize these app icons at all unless you go through shortcuts or you download the icon pack, which you still gotta go through shortcuts. But now on iOS 18, we get some different options. Check this out. Edit, customize. We now get the automatic mode, a dark mode, a light mode, and a theme mode. Or a tenant mode, as you, as you would see here. I call it a theme mode because it actually themes the icons. We didn't get any round icons on the home screen. But you never know. Maybe next year they might decide to change it up. Because a lot of people are saying that they don't really care for the round icons. I, I, I mean, I think it should be an option whether you want these or whether you want a different shape or a round one. Like I'm saying, you know. So, so you have a choice. You have... As you see right here, all your labels along with your apps, but they're also a small icon. You make them large, the labels go. It's a more cleaner outfit for your iPhone. 
Ain't that right? I, I, I love, I actually love this design. So, we go here. Now see, right now we're on light mode. We go back, all the icons are light mode. Or just the original ones, just like on, there is no dark mode on iOS 17. So, we go back in here, go to customize, check this out. Brand new feature. Finally here on iOS 18, on any iPhone down to the iPhone XR. Check this out. Boom. All of those are on dark mode. Fabulous, spectacular, however you want to say it. It's the greatest thing I've been waiting for forever. As you know, I said in my last video, iOS video, a little short one, what I did with the install. I've been asking for this for years since iOS 13. Uh, when, the, when dark mode was first introduced to the iPhone. Everything turns dark. Everything's dark mode. Booyah. Yeah, yeah I, I don't, I, it don't really change here. Uh, or in, yes, yeah, settings, you got the dark mode also. And like I said, if there's a widget, the widget is here. I could change this into a widget. Boom. Just like that. Boom. Change it back. Back to icon. Everything slides back into place, into the grid. All right, so we're also going to go here. Customize. So like I said, it goes back to light mode. Light mode. Go back in. Now let's go. This is really going to, if you haven't watched any other videos, which I, pro I know you probably have, this is my favorite feature. Uh... If you hit this dropper right here, if this which one, uh, medicine dropper, color dropper, however you want to say it, you can literally customize to your heart's content and make it whatever color you want that's on this color palette, this color slider, whatever color you want on this color slider. So I want to match to this wallpaper to match the, the icons to match the wallpaper. So all I gotta do is slide it down a little bit. Yeah, it's 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 not as smooth, but I know they will get rid of the bugs eventually for this. But to me, it's been working pretty good. So I customize, I wanna make them a little bit lighter, a little bit darker. I can do that right, right from here. So, this is what it looks like. Now I know, in the app, and here you go, in the app library. Now, you also can lock apps under Face ID or hide them. And then they show up right here in this hidden folder. Right here in the app library, all the way at the bottom. It's always going to be at the bottom of the app library. All right, so now I'm going to show you this. I already got mine set up. And this is how I have mine laid out. And like I said, you can move them anywhere, anywhere you want, but it's still stuck to that grid, that four, that four grid. But you know, there's there's other ways to uh, customize these things, as as you see how I did and as you see how I did on X. So I go to X, go to my profile, and you can see one right here. This 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 is pretty pretty 
This is this is pretty satisfying, don't you think? That you can that you're able to do this. There go my icons on the live screen. This is my last iOS 18 video I did. You can put as many controls and as many pages as you want. I don't know exactly how many pages, but I'm pretty sure it stops uh, to some extent. But so you can have different setups. It, it's it's awesome. You know what I'm saying? So iMessage now has some newer features, and we get eight new text effects for words. So whatever you put into your text. You got these options right here. All of these. So I could say, what's up? And I could hit that. I can make it explode, go big, go small, ripple effect, jitter jitter, bloom. So you get the idea. And you can also do it for... You can also do it for icons. So if I go to my favorite icon, Booyah, 100. Starry eyes. Thumbs up. And we can actually take these right here, highlight these, and we can make these do a whole different thing. We're gonna ripple them. So you got What's up? What's up and explode? And then you got the you got the emojis as a ripple effect. You so you can do anything like that. You can put them in bold. You can put them in italic. You can hit underline. You can put a strike through, strike through the message. So we say what's up. How you darn? You know what I'm saying? So let's see what kind of message we get back. Nothing. What about you? So now we get quick replies. We get them in color. Check it out over here. Our quick replies are grayed out. Yeah, this is still cool, but there is no unlimited. And eventually with Apple Intelligence, You'll be able to create create your own gen modes with AI uh, when that comes out in September, end of the year, or maybe by by next year sometime. I don't know exactly when it's supposed to be coming out, but you see the options that you get right here, which is pretty much the same thing. But right here, you also can go pick whatever emoji you want. That's on your iPhone right now at the present time. So. I'm going to say. Crazy face. And then. If you get a. A reply back. Instead of it piling on top of. That one. The crazy face. It goes right next to it. So check this out. So as you see, when you get the new one back, it go it slides right next to it instead of piling up on top of it. You know what I'm saying? So here it would have piled up right on top. And it hides the one that you got on iOS 17. You get unlimited reaction emoji eye messages and sticker options so say for instance i want to add a sticker i can go right here and i could put a sticker right on top of i could still use the stickers also as emojis instead of adding a big sticker like this and going here and doing this and putting it on top like that you know we don't have to do that no more it it, it shows up right here you see how that how awesome that is 
Then you can pick this up and move this out the way. See, this is awesome. Now also, say for instance, uh, you want to send a message, but you don't want to send it right now. You want to send it later. You know what I'm saying? We can now schedule a message. Check this out. So we can schedule a message. Uh, happy birthday to you to my daughter right there. So I want to send it to her later. I don't want to send it to her right now. But the only thing is we can hit send later. We can pick a date, but it only goes up to two weeks. After two weeks, you, 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 can't, you can't schedule a message further than two weeks. So you can schedule a message that day. It shows right there today at 9 a.m. You want to change that, you change it just like this. And you can see right there, it changes as you change it. But we're not going to send no message. Because it's not my little girl's birthday. Not until next year. Alright, so. Now you've seen the schedule a message. Send later option. Uh, but sometimes when you first download the iOS 18 beta. It doesn't show up right away. So after a day or so it goes by. Or you might get it quickly if you have like an iPhone 15 or higher. Uh, Pro Pro Max, but I noticed when I first downloaded the the send later option wasn't there for me, or my other two my other two phones, the iPhone 15 and the iPhone 11 Pro Max, they wasn't showing. So after about 24 hours, it showed up, and I was wondering. I kept seeing videos about it, but mine wasn't showing. So, I rebooted my phone, waited about five minutes. I did that on all three phones, brought it back up, and then it finally showed up. So, just be aware if it's not showing on your phone, do a few reboots and you should have it uh, within 24 hours. That's when it showed up for me. Uh, it might be different from you depending on where you stay or your location. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.